What's up guys, yesterday's Apple event they announced iOS 5.1 available for the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad. Uh, it is available today and it's not a big update but it does have a few nice little features in it so I want to do a video to show you those. First up, they have added a camera button that stays on the lock screen on the iPhone 4, 4S, 3G, as well as the iPod Touch 4G. So now, when you go to your lock screen, you're going to see a little camera button uh, over there to the right. To activate this, you don't just tap it, you actually tap on it and slide up. And then it brings you to your camera. It actually works really well. This is an iPhone 4, and as you see, that loaded up a lot faster than it did before. Uh, before, you'd actually have to go to the lock screen and double tap the home button, and then it would give you a button. And it took a little bit longer to load up. So this is a quick uh, little swipe, and then you are at your camera so you can take a picture quickly so your camera button is always on your lock screen. iOS 5.1 brings a change to the iPhone 4S on AT&T. They actually changed the indicator to show 4G rather than 3G. I've seen a lot of people tweeting me saying look I have 4G on my iPhone 4S now. No you don't. Don't get your hopes up. It's actually just the same network as you had before. They just changed the icon. Actually AT&T has a faster uh, speed on the iPhone 4S uh, than Verizon does because it's on their HSPA Plus network but it's not technically 4G even though they call it that. So that's basically why they changed the indicator because AT&T has a faster connection on the iPhone 4S than, AT or than Verizon does. But don't get your hopes up. It's not 4G. We're not going to see 4G on the iPhone 4S. But it is faster so I guess that's why they call it 4G even though it's not. One of the features in iOS 5.1 that I think most of you guys are going to be pleased to know is they have now added the ability to delete photos from photo stream individually. So I'm on my photo stream here and go to the photo and I just tap the little delete button right up here and it says this photo will be removed from the photo stream and all of your devices. Delete photo. And there we go. It's gone. And I'm also going to delete that one because that one, that one looks stupid. So does that one. Anyways, you can now delete photos from your photo stream. On the iPad, the camera app got a much needed redesign. Uh, it looks so much nicer and it makes it so much less awkward to actually take pictures with your iPad. As you see here, uh, the camera button is now not on the bottom bar, it's actually floating right here in the picture itself. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier when you're holding your iPad just like this, you can just tap right there to take a picture. Uh, so it's not awkward and you don't have to reach all the way down here while trying to hold your iPod or iPad maybe in one hand and take a picture. Uh, also, it works in landscape or portrait it so it's right there beside your thumb so it's really easy to take a picture now uh, and you've got the camera switch button right there so if you want to do that so it, it basically just makes it a lot easier uh, to take pictures now uh, with the iPad and makes it less awkward uh, and also I think they made this little bottom bar down here uh, transparent I don't remember it being uh, transparent and yeah that's pretty much it uh, you also got some options if you're using the back facing camera uh, for grid uh, so that's pretty cool and a much needed update uh, at least for the uh, the little camera button right there uh, on the iPad camera app and this is a feature that Apple announced in their event but they have added Siri support for Japanese now so if you speak Japanese or you are Japanese you now have Siri support uh, in iOS 5.1 so that's nice uh, but I haven't had a chance to try it out because I haven't updated my iPhone 4s uh, to 5.1 just yet of course they had some bug fixes in the update one of which was when audio is being dropped when you're on a call I never experienced that myself but that's good that they fixed that as well as some battery draining issues uh, either way better battery life better update. So there you go, there's a look at the new features in iOS 5.1, maybe this will give you a reason to update now. A reminder, if you do jailbreak, do not update to iOS 5.1 just yet, uh, because there's not an untethered jailbreak out for it. But when there is, of course, I will do a video, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I do all kinds of tech videos just like this, and that will update you on your YouTube homepage when I post new ones. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.